Hey y'all, it's your boy Rob with another episode of Inside the Word. Today I'm going to hit three little scriptures right quick for you. Uh, we're going to talk about love and racism. All right, 1 John 4.20 says, Whoever claims to love God yet hates a brother or sister is a liar. For whoever does not love their brother and sister whom they have seen cannot love God whom they have seen. We can't sit here and say we love God if we don't love our fellow man. That is number one important. You can't be a racist and claim to be a Christian. You can't put others down and, 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 and put yourself up higher than other people and be a Christian. You got to put all that beside you. Because love, which seems, well, a lot of times we tend in America, we think love is just a feeling, a little funny feeling. Oh, yeah, we love them, sure. But 1 Corinthians 13, it goes a little further and tells you uh, what love is. Love is patient. 1 Corinthians 13, 4. Love is patient. Are you patient with other people? Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Now it talks about pride in there and uh, putting others basically above yourself. So the last scripture I got is Philippians 2, 3. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves. Jesus said that no greater love has a man than he lay down his life for his friends. And as Christians, that's what we're called to do. We're called to lay our lives down for those uh, who are like us, who are not like us. Just like the Good Samaritan, they was a hated people, but he was the one they went on and loved on that guy that got beat up while the preachers and all them just kind of passed on by. So who are you going to be today? Are you going to love your neighbor? Your neighbor you disagree with? You going to love your neighbor that don't look like you, don't act like you? You going to love your neighbor that's at a different socioeconomic status, uh, lives across the railroad tracks, whichever direction? We have to love one another and think the best of each other. Always try to think the best. Let God deal with the worst, but think the best. That's not to say we don't have to deal with things, because, yeah, we do have to deal with things, because blessed are the peacemakers. Not the peacekeepers, but the peacemakers. Uh, that's also scripture. I just don't know the reference right now. But, hey, we got to make peace with one another. We got to love one another. That's that's the, first and foremost. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, strength. And second, love your neighbor as yourself. If you do that, hey, you're on the right track. Amen? All right. Love y'all. See y'all next time. Peace.